What's up everybody, it's Lemon Pie here and welcome to a new video this time on Life After and I want to show you my best foods that you should learn and you should master because when you master these foods they give you uh, the attributes get, get better and also you can make them the skill will last for a longer period of time, right? Their attributes and they are also very useful because the first two I will show you are for killing infected so this one is the very best guys and it's two meat, one cooking oil and one sauce two meat, one cooking oil and one sauce and this one you have to master it if you want to have taste 5 and it will give you the highest attributes if you don't have it mastered if you use the same ingredients I used, it will give you only 8% damage to infected but when you master it, it will give you 10% damage to infected, 5% fire rate and 5% immunity to critical chance, to, to critical damage, right? So, there it is. This one is the my top one food, right? The next one, which is also really good, is the sandwich. And this one you need one meat, one fruit and also flour you can also put here mushroom and it doesn't change the um, the quality you know if you only have like if you don't have for example fruit blue fruit you can use here a green fruit like like a blueberry for example or I forgot the name but I think I don't have it here but yeah a green fruit so I will make the sandwich and I will also show you the attributes here once you master it so once you can make it taste 5 it will give you 10% damage to infected and it will last for half an hour so this one is my favorite against infected even though the one I showed you before this one here is stronger because it gives you also firing rate but this one gives you only for 15 minutes and this one is half an hour so I really like that that it lasts for so long right the next one is one for combat experience this one is very comes very handy if you are farming combat experience so for example when you kill the trap boss or when you go support other camps with their invasion or something right you can use this food and it will help you a lot you need one meat one mushroom one pumpkin and one cayenne pepper cayenne pepper you can only get in santo pani and this one you have to master it and use all these ingredients at their best right like the highest quality all blue and the cayenne pepper green because it's only green <laughs> but this one is really good because it gives you as you can see here critical chance 10 percent and also combat experience by shooting right 10% an option to this if you don't have um, the cayenne pepper if you cannot get the cayenne pepper yet you can make egg uh, I messed it up I messed it up so you can use two eggs and two rice like this and you will get egg fried rice this is also something that you have to master but it's really good it gives you hp 2.0 regeneration right every second you will get extra hp and i mean you will heal up right in over time and it gives you also combat experience 10 percent and an option to these two foods right if you cannot get the eggs because your manor level is too too low what you can do is cook one meat one milk and two rice and the rice you can buy the seeds from Branken when you are in the camp in a camp right so it's like this it's called cheese rice with sausage and this is a food that you don't need to have mastered for it to have the highest attributes as you can see I only have it unfamiliar but once I cook it or when I cook it right it gives me regeneration over over time 1.5 and 10% combat mastery it's taste 5 
And this thing, if you're wondering why mine has the swimming speed increase, this is a skill. A cooking skill that you can learn here in crafting. You go all the way to the end and if this one in the corner is called Flash of Genius. So this one here, if you have it, you will get a chance for when you cook food with taste 5, it may get an extra attribute and it comes really handy sometimes because you can make very strong food and I will show you right here also at the end of the video guys I will show you well the end of right now but so in a second I will show you how you can have two guns displayed on your backpack because sometimes you can get you get to see only one weapon there right and I saw some people struggling with that and they were wondering you know on social media and stuff how to get it so I will show you that so as you can see here, all these foods, this is like my food collection, I have them with an extra skill. So this one gives me 10% movement speed, this one is a sandwich with movement speed, right? This one is a sandwich that gives you damage to infected and also to humanoids. So as you can see, this skill comes very handy. Sometimes you can get some crazy foods like this one right here. It gives you HP regeneration, damage to infected and also combat mastery. So it's pretty, pretty good. This one is a lobster fest that gives me critical chance and 200 HP cap. That food is crazy for PvP. So if you don't have that, guys, I recommend you to get this Flash of Genius to get even better foods. So now I will show you how to get two weapons displayed on your backpack. So the first thing you need to do is that the weapons must have must must be here on the shortcut, right, on this weapon shortcut and they have to be different category of weapons so I will show you right now that for example if I display this wait, let me, yeah, deploy, so I will take all the weapons out and I will show you that if you have for example SMG and A2 you have this there, you will see only one weapon, right, on your back. Only one weapon will display. So you can, even if you go with nothing in your hands, you still have two weapons right here in the shortcut, but they will not display because they are the same category. So, but if you put, for example, what you have to do is you, you have to have one gun, or for example this category, AR and SMG, and then you have to put one shotgun, for example, in the shortcut. I use this shotgun because this one is the easiest to get, right? So now you will see two guns on your backpack. Because you have two guns from different categories in the shortcut. So shotgun and SMG. But ARs count as the same category as SMGs, right? So if you have two ARs, you may be wondering why they are not displaying, it's because of this. But if you have a sniper, it will also work, you know. The sniper will also display on the back. And you can also change the position of the, of the weapons. So as you can see, they are only displaying on the left side, because this UMP is on the highest, right? But if I put it down here, you will see now I have something else displaying on my backpack. Now I have my A2 and if you want something else to display you just have to for example click the UMP and then put it back on the backpack and you will see now the UMP there and if you want again something else for example the sniper to be displayed there you use the sniper and then you put it back in the backpack and you will see it. So that's it guys, so basically you have to have uh, two ones from different categories and they must be displayed on the shortcut, right? And then you will be able to show them or to display them on your backpack. So that's it guys and thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, the video and it was helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. This is Lemon Pie. 
signing out.